The July paper pumpkin kit, what's it called? Painted petals is such a gorgeous set to work with. I immediately thought of some fun full cards, but I have a bunch more things to show you too. So uh, thanks for joining. I'd like to just give a little inspiration on some ideas to get you started and then go from there because we love our alternatives, don't we? So paper pumpkin, it's Karen Titus stamping on the back porch. I love this pretty box this time. It's really a lovely box. All these detailed instructions. Look at these beautiful, beautiful cards, beautiful pieces. This is actually a gorgeous, you've got your ink pad, you've got a lovely stamp set. And if you collect, you know, if you get paper pumpkin, you can just keep one box and keep all your little extra things in here and you'll build up this really nice set of stamp sets and inks to take with you traveling. Or if you just don't wanna own a lot, just, you know, all sit there on the shelf. So I started, I went ahead and just stamped all these. They would be ready. These are all using gray granite and they're all. Um, so the words are, you're simply the best. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Let's celebrate you. Friends like you make life beautiful. There's also a lovely flower. I'm not even using that. A little hello and a line. So really a fun little stamp set. And I thought I would first just make one quick card uh, kind of the way it's talked about, and but we're going to change it right away into something else because that's what we do. So I am going to start with, just look how pretty this is. So I am going to just go ahead and build my stamp set here. Let's see uh, all these little die, oh, these little things. All This is all included. All of these little things are right here and put a bunch of those on oh i even got double on there so we're just using plenty take those off and then i'm going to set it off side like this was so kind of like this beautiful little shaded area i'm going to put this right across the top here so i'm actually going to just put a little glue dot on there for right now. Park that right there. Maybe up a little higher. Let's see. See, I like to be able to change my mind. I'm going to put that right there. And then we would add some gems. So I'm going to wait on that right now. So the first thing I'm going to take, I'm going to do this one and we're going to turn it into a fun pull card like this because I just don't need a card that's so gorgeous on the background, I, on the back side. I just think that is so stunning. So the first thing we're going to do is take this and cut this off. So there's the outside. And then I want this to be five inches by three and three quarters because this is going to be my, my uh, base card. So this piece is going to be four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to need this to go down to three and three quarter. I'm going to go around all the edges here. Three and three quarter. And then this, we want to be five. Let's see. I could have done this before I put the other on, but that's okay. We'll see if it... Uh, Takes any of my pretty pieces away, but that works well. There we are. Okay. So now this is going to fit right on here. Because this has already popped up, I'm going to actually put my adhesive on this part. Because then when I will lay this on top, I have this to work with. Okay. So this I want to do a Z fold. And to do a z-fold this is my regular card base this is a regular card and i'm going to take the scoring part and i'm going to score the card front in half so if this is four and a quarter then this is going to be two and an eighth and i'm going to score that and then look how pretty this is i'm going to put this right on here and it's going to give it that lovely background all the way around i want to make sure i just put adhesive on this part just easy ways to change up a card 
Um, I have it pretty equal all over. And then I'm going to put this on the inside. So I need to just cut it a little bit smaller. I could actually, well, that's interesting. I could actually leave it the whole amount. Do you know what? I'm going to do that on this one. But let's change it up and be a little different on this one. We're going to do the full amount and then I'll show you. Uh, the difference on the two and see that's the part I cut off so let's let's try to get this on as straight as we can we don't want to go straight out to the edges because now it's oh I like that now we're gonna have a solid part and a little bit of there and when we open it so here's the one that's finished when we open it then I just put a little thing to write on there this is probably light enough you can even just write right across here otherwise you're just going to add a little piece to put that on that. But I think that's really fun because when you open it, then you're seeing both side by side. That's going to need another little thing. Um, you're seeing them both side by side instead of having to flip it over to see it. Does that make sense? There is fun fold number one. Okay, now we'll do an easel card. Easel cards are always just so easy. And it's going to go like this. So on this one, we are going to use this one I've already finished. So I'm going to cut this the same way as we did the other. I'm going to cut this off. And actually, I'm going to take this little green part here, and I just want that to be four by one and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that too. Cut that, and then this one will be four. I'll set that aside. This one then, again, I'm going to want to be three and three quarters by five. So I'm just going to find a good place to cut that off on one side. Oh, that actually made three and three quarters. I didn't even mean to do it that. And then I will cut this one and this might make it right to five too. I'm gonna go ahead and do it that at five. Just to be really quick here. So here's my front piece. And now I am going to also put this on Mossy Meadow. This, these are just stunning. I think these are such lovely cards. And doing them just the way they are, too, are just beautiful cards. You would just love to send these. So now we're just going to put this on a base. And instead, we're going to do, you know, this is so similar to doing the Z fold this way. Do you see how we did this one vertically? Now we're going to do it horizontally. I need to make sure I have my. Uh, scoring blade, not my cutting blade. So I'm going to score this in half. So that's going to be five and a half because you'll see this would make it the same base size as all the cards. And then I'm going to put this in half going this way. So that will be two and three quarters. And look how easy this is to make an easel card. Here is my easel. So I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to put this on the card front, but you're going to see I only want to make get it on the bottom so that it will fold up. So again, I will put my adhesive right down here. And then I'm going to line this up and put this right in the center. And eyeballing it. So right here, it looks just like a regular card. But you see, we can pop that up. And then this will be my little popped up part. So how cool is that? You can see these side by side. So with this, I actually used, let's see if I have any out here. Um, I don't at the moment. I, I used on this the strips, the adhesive strips, so they would go up just like that. Here I don't have it, but another thing I like to use on these, this works really well. I need to find my scissors. Um, here's the scissors. And I'm going to take the edges, so the little one. So, you know, what, what you can do with edges. I just think this is so cool because I can pop this up right there. And then let's take another edge over here. I cut my edges apart too to make more little ones, but this is also a great use when you're doing something larger like this. Okay, I should probably have a little bit on the side. So sure i'll just cut a little bit more here let's do one here and one here i'll just cut these two little pieces here and here and see i won't have to cut those apart so now when i take these 
Okay, I'm going to open this and I'm going to set this right in. So now this will be popped up. And just see how it will hold. I just love that. So this says, friends like you make life beautiful. So on the bottom, I'm going to take one of these others. I love this, that I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I think that is really an awesome set of words there. So I will I'm gonna pop this one up too. So you could make several and any of these would work for any of these. And of course, then I can add some gems. But I thought, aren't those just lovely? I think those are just really pretty. And then for one other idea, I decided to take, take a regular card. So here, here's another one that's all ready. You, we've been putting these on like this, but these are also stunning on their own. I think that's really lovely on that. I also think it's really lovely on black. And so I decided to go with a look like this. And again, I'm going to take this apart because now I want this to be the inside of my card. And this look to me looks like a watermark. So again, I could try writing over it or I can put, um, well, here I have something I do that afterwards. So, okay, so let's cut this. Now I have my cutting thing. And this time, this is going to be my card inside. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit for the inside. I'd like it to just be four by five and a quarter. So let's see, I'm going to do that. And oh, I think I'll cut them out this way, five and a quarter. So now here I have my white card base. I'm going to put this on the inside. And if I'm using a black ink or if I had like a happy birthday in a bold, that would work right over this because this is light enough to kind of be a watermark. If I want to do something else, I would just put this in here and, and does not look pretty so I could have anything there. But I love the idea of just doing something right over it. And then if you're doing that, I would put my message on the back if you also have a personal message. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And then this... We're gonna cover, we're gonna cover the whole, we're gonna cover the whole front of this. I could also have cut this down to four by five and a quarter. Either way would work great. We're going to try to get this on as good as we can. And if there's any little overhang, I would just trim that off, but that will be fine. And then I put my little dots on the back. I just think this is just stunning on black like this. Like, is that, isn't, isn't that pretty? I think what a lovely card that is. Um, I think I'm going to do it straight. could do it either way. Put this on. And I just love how the inside carries out the outside. Isn't that just a fun card? So these are three really fun ideas to do with this. Now, I was just as excited about the envelopes. I'll show you what I did with those. So you get nine envelopes, and I don't feel the need to have fancy envelopes. These are lovely envelopes. So they do set off these pretty cards, if you like to keep them. But I just love how they all have flowers in the corner. So do you see the, here are the three. And then they have the other um the inside is just like this. So of course, one of my go-to cards that I make all the time, I looked at this and saw that is the perfect card. So I'm gonna show you all three and then we'll make one. I think these are beautiful and they're made out of the envelope. So there is that color. Here is this color. So all I'm adding is some extra card stock to all these. And then here is this color. And I think these don't even need words. They need nothing. I think these are just gorgeous cards. So to make this, let's make, let's see. Oh, what color do I have in here? That would make a difference. Oh, I have, um, hmm, I have, I have green. Do any of these go with this green? Mm, let me see. Okay, we're going to pretend this goes with this green, okay? Sure, it's going to go good enough. <laughs> I forgot to bring out. I... Forgot to bring out um, a, a card for that. So 
Oh, so then we're winging it, which is all perfect. So first let's do our base card. This is half a sheet of cardstock again, folded, um, scored in half folded. And this is our card base. Now to make a card like this, I'm to, going to put this in at the one and a quarter mark. I need to stand up so I can kind of see where this goes. And I'm going to cut to the edge. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on this one. Okay, whoa, and then, then we send it flying. And then just adding adhesive on these two parts and we are folding this down, just matching up the corners. This is such an easy uh, fold on a card. That is just so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, well, let's see. Maybe that, nah, we'll, we'll stick with this. We're, we're gonna just be experimental here. So now I'm gonna take my envelope. I'm going to cut this right, right at the edge. I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna cut it right at this edge. And let's see what I've got now. I can get rid of, I can get rid of that part. Oh, and I'm gonna cut this at four inches because this is four and a quarter. So I'm going to want this at four inches. Now, this part, if we measure this part, this is three inches. So I'm going to want to cut this at two and three quarters. So I'm going to take that. There is my two and three quarters. And then I need two one inch strips for the sides. Because remember that we cut those at one and a quarter. So there's a one inch. And these are going to be the flip sides. And here is a one inch. So these could be mass produced and you could do a whole bunch of these at one time. But here are my pieces. And now it is a matter of just assembling them. Okay, so we're going to put these on the sides. My YouTube studio is in our living room, so it, this is not our craft room. So I don't have things, you know, totally handy. So sometimes I have to leave and find things. Otherwise, I make do with what is at my fingertips. I do live in a craft house instead of having a craft room. And then I cut out a piece this same size of just white. You see, I made several of these so I can make, finish up the rest of these. And this will be the same size to go on the inside. And then we're just going to embellish it. So how cool is that? So then we have all three of these. So you could get nine cards like this. And I think in sets of three, these would also be a beautiful gift. Just tie them with a ribbon or something. And I thought, isn't that fun? So those are ideas just to get you started with Paper Pumpkin. There's a link below if you're interested in um, subscribing and trying out Paper Pumpkin. And, um, you know, ideas generate ideas. So now I'd love to see what you do with this over in the Backport Stampers. Thanks for watching.